What is up guys this is Karan here and welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel MIUI Pro which is a MIUI 12 based the latest actually not the latest one 20.8.20 version which is based on Android version 10 with the April little bit of old security patch is available for Redmi Note 9 Pro users but MIUI Pro has a lot of customizations it's kind of a pro ROM available for some Xiaomi devices but some has a paid ROM this is a port ROM available for Redmi Note 9 Pro users. If you're also Redmi Note 9 Pro user, you can install this build right now. I'm gonna checking out this how this build moves, how this build is working fine or not, and a lot more things, including the installation. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's take a look at once again. This is a MIUI Pro 12 20.8.20 and has some Hindi languages. Zudeep, Duhun, Dwa, Port, Kia, Gya. This is Redmi Note 9 Pro. This is the latest thing which I got with the April security patch, by the way. Little bit of old thing, not the newest one here, but okay, you can easily understood this. This is a little bit of old thing, not official room. This is a ported room. So yes, we have these kind of things. This is a default theme. This is not actually the default theme the theme which i have applied right now on my device you can also apply this theme which is iphone 14 actually ios 14 but the name is ip14 the link for this theme is also in the description you can go and install this theme if you want to it has all the same kind of features which you might get we have the app drawer option available so yes you can use the app drawer also we can use the control center option also but i'm not using that because control center does not feel like good here it's better to use this normal quick settings panel which which looks better than the normal one better than the control center in my case and the wallpaper theme i all told you i have the link in the description you can go and download that i can use the gcam also in my case i'm using this gcam which is working fine here without having any issues i can use the gcam without having any issues the gcam which i am using right now the link for that gcam is also in the description if you want to install that other things are kind of the same like all it also has the same miui 12 features as expected talking about the theme store we have the normal theme store available the almost all chinese themes wallpapers fonts ringtones icons we have the dynamic wallpapers options available too we have these kind of things available by going to my account you can go to the theme store you can also import some themes if you want to but yes we have the 12 themes pre-installed already this one is the theme which i have applied which is actually the third party theme also you can install that also install you can third party themes if you want to these are the some themes which are pre-installed ashes around illusion limitless surf or hexagon or these kind of things wallpapers ringtones and these kind of things are pre-installed no icons are install no dynamic wallpapers but is you can install if you want to talking about the theme components there are a lot of things which you can customize that's a quite impressive thing lock style status bar icons messaging dial pad favorites ray boot animation boot audio fonts and ring tones this is a very very interesting thing if you want to try out you should definitely give it a try Moving on to the settings, we have some lock screen customization, a little bit of customization lock screen which has a scanner action as you can see. We have the lock screen shortcuts, manual time adjustment until the screen dims and other things are quite same, nothing new here. If we go to the display option, we have the dark mode, we have these fonts which are available right now, Mi Land Pro fonts which are already enabled, which you can disable if you want to, okay, but we need a reboot for that maybe. This is the list animation, the wave one which is working perfectly fine, you can adjust animations, we have the control center option available as you can see. You can enable the control center if you want to, I don't want to enable so I will disable that. Some icons customization, you can enable the network type and status bar, L LTE, 4G, VPN icon, GPS icon, a lot more things to customize here and there. Connection speed which you can add, we have the delimiter, we have the height connection at zero speed, show carrier name, battery indicator, we have a little bit of new battery indicators like this one is op option is also available here. You can see the battery percentage right now at the top of my status bar. Hide notch, you can also hide the notch if you want to but doesn't look nice so I will not hide this at all. Show weather, show city and a lot more things which you get here including that we have the picture in picture which is pip size available here too which you can do if you want to sounds and vibration have almost same kind of things and nothing new here we have the haptic feedback option available we have the volume bar customizations available here too 
if you go to the notification option and if you go to the notification sheet we have some little bit of extra features available too ability to expand the incoming message in the lock scene is of my one of my kind one of my great features out there which i personally liked it reply to a message from the lock screen and the unread message on the lock scene is some cool kind of features group notifications are on also you can choose the miui or android style notifications if you want to all depends upon you talking about the home screen customizations we have a lot of customizations on the home screen also use me space list of system applications signature icons number of columns in a folder automatically close folders a lot more things as you can see Talking about the wallpaper, we have the Super Wallpapers pre-installed. The latest Farway Saturn wallpapers, Home and the Red Blend, all kind of Super Wallpapers are pre-installed which you can enable if you want to. If you want to choose these Super Wallpapers, apply directly without having any issues. Moving on to the password and security, kind of same thing, face lock and fingerprint, other things are kind of the same. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. As you can see, perfectly fine here. No issues here at all. Fingerprint is perfectly fine. My face lock is perfectly fine. So no issues here at all. You can use these kind of things. Now, how to install that? The link for this file and a vendor file, two files which you need. The link is in the description. Just boot into custom recovery once. Guys, in my case, I'm using this TWRP 3.4.1B05304 Redmi Note 9S. So how you can do that, just go to the wipe section here. Go to the advanced wipe and here you have to select the three things, Dalvik, Data and Catch, these three things. Swipe to wipe. It will not take that much time to wipe all these things after that done. Go to the install option and go to your location where you have the room. I have here MIUI Pro V10.0 20.8.20 Unify Telegram cloud.zip so just swipe to confirm flash it will take a little bit of time to flash so just wait for the flash to finish first so guys after everything would be done you will see this message done flash vendor now so yes we have we already flashed the system and the product partition we have to flash vendor now so just go to the install option once again and i'll provide you the link for that vendor and the vendor which you need is vendor kutana 199 minui 12.zip and this vendor is only for those who have a kutana device if you have any other device don't try it on your device because this may break your device so it's better Better to be on safe side safe side don't flash this vendor on any other device only flash it on Cortana if you have a Cortana device just flash it if you have any other device don't flash it at all I'm not responsible for anything happen to your device so as everything is done now as you can see what we need to do is we need to format data and reboot our device nothing else it was quite easy to install this go to the Y format data Y E S and then just reboot your device after that everything is done it will be booted into MIUI Pro this was quite easy it was easy to install this MIUI Pro room on a device you want to install this just follow all the steps and the room will be installed on a device now this was all from today's video if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe also thanks for watching goodbye